Envolt MPPT Solar Charge Controller ELF 10 Hi, welcome back to the channel. So as you saw, another MPPT charger, 10 amp. We'll take a look at it. Still, I'm on the lookout for a little unit which can either go into car for camping, you know, when you have just a small 100 to 200 watt maximum panel. So that's what I'm looking for. You can only get 120, 130 watts into your battery with a 10 amp charger anyways, at least 12 volt. So I'm looking for that kind of size with my 100 watt panel or my 100 to 200 watt panel. And look at this one. So this one doesn't have any fancy Bluetooth apps or whatever, but it does have the Enovolt. It has multiple settings for batteries, tells you the state of the battery. And right now we can see it's charging the battery all the way full. You can see the voltage is at 40.2, amperage is dropping. So this one knows that it's almost done charging. And look at this, it's just a small setup, one solar panel and a battery right behind it. And that's all there is too. So yeah. So the unit does come with two of those adapters, which is pretty neat. It also came already with MC4 connectors, which goes into the Anderson. And then on this side, what I needed is one of those reverse couple of units or adapters. And then this one, at least for me, as always guys, you know, it goes into this Anderson connector, which I had recently used as well. Um, but the, the use of this one, it's fairly simple. So right now it's off. As soon as it has power, the lights start blinking. So right now it is set up to gel to set it up. We press the button for a couple of seconds. It starts blinking. Now we can cycle through, go to the lithium ion phosphate. One downside, it does not remember the setting you we used recently. So that's something which is sad, but. And one point it's set. Or you just press and hold long the set button here. Done. And it stops blinking. And it's all set and then it tells you the indication of how full it is. You can see it says input on this side, on this side it says output. So PV power coming in, MC4 connectors going in. You can make your own connector if you want to. But um, it's a fairly simple unit, very small form factor. It gives you some indication also on the back, on the back here about um, charging voltage as well as floating. It's only made for 12 volt batteries though. And the display dims, there we go, back. And that, that's all the information you can click one time, then you see temperature, Celsius, Fahrenheit, error codes, that's it. Not too much to it, but it does come with those screws so you can mount it into somewhere. It has this protective film on it, which I keep on there usually. And for me, it's something I can use easily in the car as well, or camping, or just for solar panel and a battery, so very small light setup. And by the way, those MC4 connectors, as well as this connector, you saw the connector just recently, that's the second. The MC4 connectors were included, but I had to connect them myself. So, something I didn't cover in this video, but it's, it was fairly simple. MC4 connectors, crimping, plugging in, screwing, that's all. There are tons of videos out there, which I could plan better than I just did. But this one, you know, just small footprint, even with those alligator clamps, what I'm using here. Really easy and simple. All right, I wanted to show you it does achieve 10 amps with a 12 volt battery. Unfortunately, <laughs> LA doesn't have sun right now. So when I look outside, it's cloudy, there's no sun, or if, then it's maybe five seconds, five seconds the sun is shining through. So I have to do all to do. I have to do. I have to follow up with this to prove it that it's actually able to push 10 amps in. So I will do that in a follow-up video, just a quick one or maybe a short. So keep my eye out so you can see that and see that it, I deliver the proof it works. Let me call it powerful, easy, no Bluetooth, no big anything with it. Fairly simple and fairly cheap I feel like as well. So a good alternative for just, you know, my car setup. This unit just works fine. It goes all the way to 10 amps. I checked it a couple times. So we just were seeing um, when I filmed, the battery was charging to full. I missed the time slot <laughs> to film it when it was full charging. But uh, it was realizing, hey, this is a lithium ion phosphate battery, 14.2 volts, so I have to slow down and it's getting to full. So amazing. So that's what it should do. It shouldn't damage your battery or anything else. So 
check it out, link in the description if you want to. Thanks for watching. Tschüss!